Hi everyone, I'm Walt Gray and here's what's happening. Cal Fire has released the official cause of the campfire in Butte County, confirming what ABC 10 reported weeks ago. Cal Fire says PG&E lines in the Polga area caused the fire. There was also a second ignition point near the intersection of Concow Road and Rim Road, but that fire was swallowed up by the original fire. The campfire was the deadliest and most destructive fire in state history. For the first time in months, some families who were displaced by the campfire are now getting help from the feds. FEMA has opened a temporary housing site in Oroville. It'll house 40 families through July of next year. FEMA has plans to open similar sites in Gridley and in Chico, providing housing for more than 400 families. And this morning, federal officials are looking into what went wrong when two planes used for crop dusting collided in the air above Sutter County. Both pilots were killed. Happened about noon yesterday near Pleasant Grove, just off Highway 70. Sutter County deputies say the crash happened over an area with mostly rice and farm fields. And a North Sacramento girl has a national award to show off this morning. 12-year-old Evelina Chang is a 7th grader at Norwood Junior High. She drew an image depicting ways to improve interactions between police and young people. She won $500. She and another student from Louisiana split first place and beat more than 120 students from across the USA. All right, now for a check of the weather. It's been crazy. How much longer will the crazy <laughs> last, Rob? <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and give you the crazy forecast. So this is what we're looking at. Yesterday, it was all about timing out that wall of rain that came through during the evening commute and well into the evening. Today, it's been about when is it coming back? Because we do see more rain today and more snow, but it's a little bit different. Later this morning through the afternoon, if you're watching the afternoon, it's already here, but through the morning, uh, we're looking at right around between 9 and maybe 11 a.m. is when the rain's coming back in and through this afternoon, just some light rain sustained. Not that much, but late afternoon between 3 and 6 p.m., we're going to get some thunderstorms and then we're going to be looking at additional Sierra snow. So the the whole Sierra snow situation is not changing today at all. If you're going into the mountains, plan on snow, plan on momentary chain controls and slow going either way, even if you're prepared. And then through the evening, everything winds down in the valley, continued snow, and then the rest of your Friday should be fine. If you have Friday plans uh, anywhere outside of the mountains, you should be good to go. Enjoy it. That's your dry spot until at least Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon between two and five. Coincidentally, when a lot of people are doing things on Saturday, that's when we get more rain and snow coming back to the area. At last through Sunday morning, Sunday evening, we start to dry out. Monday's another dry day. Make the most of that one. I like it on a Monday when we're all coming back to work or school, but then we've got more coming Tuesday and Wednesday. Cool, cloudy weather after that.